Hello and welcome to this video on how to use the Anything browser, where you learn how to add models to your scene, as well as adding them to your favorites and creating a list of your favorite models as well. My name is Jay Santos and I'm the Developer Relations Manager here at Anything World. So let's get started. And we'll start by adding the extra scenes package that is available on our website on your profile page as a .unity package file. To access it, go to our website, anything.world, click on join now, then my account, and scrolling down, you're gonna find the extra scenes section. And here you can download the .unity package and import it to your project. I've already added it to my project and have the forest scene open. And I already have the Anything browser and the My World tabs docked on my editor as well. To find the Anything browser window and the My World window, all you have to do is click on Anything World and here I have the Anything browser and the My World. I also already have the forest scene open and you can find the forest scene in the folder Anything World Examples, Forest, and here's the forest scene. And you know, of course you'll find that once you import the package into your project. So let's add a giraffe to my scene. So I'm going to search on the browser for giraffe. And here I have all the giraffe models available in the browser. You can filter them by category and by animated and still models as well. And within the browser, you can differentiate between animated and still models by display icon here on the top left side of the thumbnail. So this giraffe model is animated, whereas this one is not. And to add the giraffe to my game, all I have to do is click on it in the browser and the giraffe is automatically added to my scene. And now if I press play and go to my scene view, I can see the giraffe moving around with one of the animations generated by our AI agent. And that happens because once you import a model from the browser to your project, it already contains a script called random movement that randomly, randomly picks a spot in the world and moves the model to that spot. Once it reaches that spot, it picks a new spot and so on and so forth. We provide the script so you can hit the ground running, no pun intended, when using anything world. You can also add models at runtime. Uh, let's search now for a zebra. And if I press play, and I'm sorry, if I click on the model in the browser, you can see that a zebra was added to my scene. You can also add models at runtime using our API and I can repeat it several times and have several zebras on my scene. Where they are, there they are. To learn more about how to use our API to add models to your to your scene at runtime, please check our documentation. You can find the link in the description of the video. Now let's talk about the liking and list functions that you can find on the My World tab. At the bottom left corner of each of the models, you can see a little heart. And by clicking on it, you can like the model and it gets saved on your My World list of likes. So here's the zebra that I just clicked. So this way you can easily find the models that you like the most within our browser. You can also create a list containing all the models that you find again to easily find and reference them. So I'm going to create a new collection called Zebra Collection. And I'm going to create this collection with this model. So in my list, uh, now I have the Zebra Collection. And I'm going to go back to the browser and I'm going to add some more of the zebras to my zebra collection. And then if I go back to the to my lists, I can see 
all the zebras in my collection now. So this is very useful, very handy to uh, save and easily reference the models that you find in the browser. So that's the basic on how to use the browser, the likes and the lists uh, with anything world. In the next video, we're going to talk about the AI creator and how to use it to easily and quickly create environments and include models on them. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you so much. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and join our community on Discord. Once you join, say hello. Show us what you're working on. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you, and I see you in the next video.